from beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Fielded near the back of the end zone. They had no run back on the We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. nothing on that last run they'll try again second and ten now some movement before the snap and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon start penalty certainly not helping their cause here second down and long <laughs> Darnold down to throw this one into the hands of Burton 
And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A gain of six yards. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Jets first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Darnold. He'll set up the screen to Dre. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him made. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Looking to throw again on second down. Jarno. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Defensively, they were all over that. When he decided to keep it, there were a lot of eyes just darted on him. I wonder if he followed the progressions properly there. I think maybe he really wanted to run with the football. Turned out not to be the correct decision. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now to it. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. That's one of the dangers of the quick game. If you only have a two- or three-step drop, if you don't get the ball to someone open right away, those defenders are right near the line of scrimmage and then get on top of you in a heartbeat. Let's go, defense! Tua once again here on second and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. They'll take over. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. On first down, Blake. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The 16 yard he's line. definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off of play action, Darnold. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Trey Hendrickson able to get in there and drop him behind the line. It's third down. Third and long. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Complete to number 10. DeAndre Hopkins. There to make the grab. And the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here first and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Steps away to his left. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two and now on first down. And he'll go underneath here to Burrito. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Brings up second. Play action. Now it's Tua. 21 yard line. That'll be complete to Breida. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. From 21 yards away. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, looting the tackle. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Room to run at the 50. Still going inside the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. New York. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 24 yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting back... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds, they keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gasicki. It's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On second down, a run with Breida. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. 
And that is incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. At their own 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll run with Drake. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calls, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 14, Dolphins 10. On first down, Darnold. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the 14-yard line. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Throwing again is Darnold. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him, and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it did. Fighting his way in for a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. It's good, and it's 21-10. Makes the score Jets 21, Dolphins 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. On first down, here's Brito. Tackle by Ashton Davis up from the secondary. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. That second down play nets a minus four. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Open man is Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. To a fast pass outside complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Tua going to hand this one to Guido. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Dolphin. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 22, the ball carrier. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Heavy set out there on third and one. No, no, no. Check, check. Picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Right back to him on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The 11-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Now they try the right side here. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. First well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sum some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at him and right up the middle. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Breda. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Matt Breda. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game.
And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. Makes the score Jets 21, Dolphins 17. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. He's going to hit his man out of the back field complete and they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40 and this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down he's gonna look deep in zone for Hopkins and this is intercepted but they'll say out of bounds oh very close to a turnover they're in the end zone so we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And they're going to bring him down just past the 15 and a flag down as well. That holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. A very costly holding penalty. It backs him up all the way inside their 10 to start this drive. They run with Breda. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's good. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They've got second and 12 from the 36. At the 36-yard line. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Dancing to his left. And this one is incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Demir Bird, 64 yards. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. 
other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. By number 20. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Third and two, Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. The shotgun, Breda. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Big play there, 45 yards, and the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that, and you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half, but there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He starts by handing this off to Drake. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And it's third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Darnold from the gun. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. New York. On first and 10, Darnold. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off at the 49. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. On second and a long way to go. Darnold. Flushed out right. He's got this one completed to Mims. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. You know what? Why don't you and just start he it? will score. Touchdown, Miami. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And he knocks it through. Makes the score Dolphins 45, Jets 21. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. <laughs> comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. deep in there, right? <laughs> now he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Darnold. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. First down. Throwing quickly, Darnold, that's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Now Darnold. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. Darnold completes it, and he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 
23 yards, the final tally. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. To the air again, Darnold. Flush to his right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, Darnold. This will be caught at about the six. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Darnold to throw again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think here, the score dictates you pretty much got to go for it. Well, when you look at the scoreboard and you realize that three doesn't do you a whole lot of good in this situation, you're exactly right. Dial up one of your better plays and get after it. Forget the field goal kicker. He doesn't matter. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. And it is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Well, that gives them a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. The ball carrier. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Back near his goal line, here's Tua. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver there, Kenyon Drake. But it's going to be second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And they'll try and go jet sweep here with Paramount. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Now it's Darnold. He'll set up the screen to Drake. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. When you talk about a battle being won in the trenches, that touchdown right there, a lot of credit to the offensive lineman. Yeah, when you watch them surge across the front, they really created great space for the runner to get in. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Jets 29. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop it? And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. To a tongue of Tremendous ball. read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fate. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Being chased out left. Able to locate his running back, open downfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Play action, now it's Tua. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there. 44 yards. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know Protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And this is picked oh, up by the sir. Dolphins. Oh, and this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. For the extra point. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kick's away following that fumble return. And this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Looking left sideline, incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense, it's going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. And it's third down. The Jets on third down. They're at 50%. Four for eight. This will be third and six. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. 
First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Seven-yard line. <laughs> They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Ashton Davis. In there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. It's fourth down. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Dolphins, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll get another home date next week as the Packers will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
a lot for the wins. Came in a drop on a 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. Yeah, I got it right in the end. Yeah. Now we on top, top once again. I don't want it if it ain't love. If it ain't get it away from me. Who you gon' jack if it ain't us? LABB to the bakery. Some mad that I came up. I know my granny gon' pray for me. It was just us in the vacancy. We had to get it from A to B. Wheels never felt like this. Two seats in the hills, how I feel righteous. Two seats for the mills, but the deal priceless. New keys can't care what's built private. I might just double it up. Did it? Mm. Never enough, I'm with it. Uh. Five, two, three on the business. Whole team got wins in the world suspended. I told them. What I told them. We did a lot for the wins. Came in the drop on the 10. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. Hey. I had to tighten the plan. Got it right in the end. Now we on top. Got a spot and it's slot to the click all in. I got ops. If he drop, I just hit my dance. I was top. They just watched. Had to take my wins. They wouldn't let me in. I've been on 10, 10 cents. Who really holding it down? I've been holding it down and I fold it again and again. Who was the dummy that died? I'm the coldest of remedy. Folding again and again. I'm in the what? I'm in the day. I'm doing 30 on 30 and up. You in the what? You in the way, either you rolling or rolling the dust, you with us or what? Keep it running. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the 10, now we on top, top once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan, I got it right in the end, now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins, came in a drop on the 10, now we on top, top once again, yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on 10, 10, 10. the block around just like the hand in the cloud. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a feet over leather. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair and a message. You're the best, if you didn't need the new, you drew a confession, you a mess. Oh, uh, you ain't scary to me. Cause you wasn't needed, but that ain't apparent to me. Put thoughts on you, my cheetah, one of them, I'm there on the scene. And I think it's like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Touch the dragon's soul so I don't even grab the wheel. Ever on my chest, but it don't mean the man is still. I mean, I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil. Cause I feel like Uncle Phil and all his loose finger friends, but they ain't had the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Clearly taking us and we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hand in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Clearly taking us and we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hand in the clock. Just like the hands of the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. But they mad they don't want to bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. Well, I hate to break up on me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot soup. And there's no catch. Like I'm looking at the bag and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down could be. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, probably sign in the past. So it's good to score in the car, but dash. I take a pick, told them all, you went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'm a for that cash to my money. <laughs> Yeah, drill, little bit, little bit, uh, let me feel myself a little. 
I can't I'm a say got a new press those in the J's and already got a new bitch boss with it on TikTok but I'm gonna hop it's too high and you wanna play ball hit a three point shot with this small court got a block on lock elevated by the moon and I'm on the night scene I see water dripping on a white tee and Shelly got a man but she's saying wife me I got chats coming in like a pair of Nikes if I like it then you know I'm finna get it get the bag and then I flip it watch me do it I think I earned all my stripes. I don't 
believe all the hype. Get back on my feet and get right. Watch me work, watch me hate, watch me lurk, can't relate. Watch me skirt out the mud, out the dirt, above the waters, in the murk, out the gate, on sight. Red free, red tight, set the bar, take flight. Yo, I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my time was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame, get the money. I'm out in LA where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't had food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my face. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. Was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up. Lay it all on the line, ain't no looking back. Give him my all with no strings attached. Came from the bottom, roll through the cracks. Spotlight on you, boy, you boy. Time I was down. 
accomplish 